In this video, we'll be looking at web authoring. This is the second video in a series of videos on web authoring. Last time, we looked at creating templates for your website. Today, we're going to look at inserting text or objects, as well as looking at how HTML works in Dreamweaver. Let's look into this in some more detail now. As part of the exam, you should know how to insert hyperlinks, insert images, enhance fonts, and how to use HTML. We've already learned about inserting images, and if you saw the previous video, you'll also know how to insert hyperlinks. Now in this video, we're going to look at some more stuff on inserting hyperlinks, um, as well as other stuff. Let's take a look at stuff now. All right, so getting started, this is the, uh, the page we made in the previous video. If you haven't got this layout done, feel free to go back to the previous video on templates to see how this was made. I'm currently working on the index file for now. Um, what we're going to look at first of all is changing fonts. Now, by default, you get this font on Dreamweaver. However, you can change that. Down at the bottom, under properties, you've got page properties. Uh, and if you don't have page properties, just uh, you can always click out of the uh, the table and you'll see it. Okay, under appearances, immediately you get to choose the default font. Um, you can choose a serif or a sans serif font. Um, if you don't know the difference, a serif font has little flicks on the edges of each letter. So you can see here, this is a Times New Roman we're currently using, and it's got a serif because you can see there's little flicks at the ends of each character. You've got to look carefully to see that. Um, I want to go for a, a sand serif, so I'm going to put something, and it even says it here, by the way. I'm going to look for a down, which is a slightly more cleaner look. Let me apply it. Okay, and it changed all the font. Okay. So that looks okay, and that changes those fonts there. Okay, now um, what I also want to do though is I want to distinguish between Welcome to Mario and this text here. So I'm going to just press Enter to separate them. Then I'm going to highlight Welcome to Mario, uh, and down under Format, let's say HTML. Instead of making it paragraph text, I'm going to make it heading one. And you can see here, we immediately get it a lot larger. You can actually customize the size of your heading text by going to page properties, then headings, and then you can determine the sizes and the color and all of that. I'm gonna do that for now, I'll let you do that if you wish to. Um, for now, it goes the default size, it's already set in Dreamweaver. Before we move on, I actually wanna show you a side to Dreamweaver which kind of scares some students, and that's the coding part. Up here, we've got three views. You've got code view, which is right, don't worry about that one. And we've got design view, which we like, because design view makes it easier to just drag and drop objects. And then we've got the split view. I like split view, um, because if you can't code and you're trying to find something, it's all right. All you've got to do is highlight it, and look at that. It highlights the code that represents it. Okay, now one thing I just want to point out to you are some of the HTML tags you might want to know about. Um, this text is paragraph text, and it says that in the HTML code as well, with this tag here and that tag there. Those are the paragraph tags, they have a P for paragraph. Now this tag, we actually made our heading. Okay, now any headings or headers are in the header tags. Um, they're actually different, so you notice here, watch, if I change this to header 2, or heading to, you notice it changes as well. Um, heading five, you can see it changes. We're going to go with heading one. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is that. Okay. We can also use it to customize our image as well. So if we just scroll over, if I just click on the image, there's the text for the image. Um, now, one thing I'll point out: notice how the here's the source, and this is actually the image name, Super Mario O One. Now it's very important that you have speech marks around the name of the image um, because otherwise it will not work and the same here with the width and the height we can actually change the width and height here let's make it 500 by 500 and there we go you can see it resize very quickly um, there's a lot of the stuff of html i'm going to go back into design now 
and we're going to look at hyperlinks so i'm going to now click here to see the official super mario website now what i'm going to do at this point is i'm actually going to go over to the word document and just click on this uh, this link here highlight it copy and then under link i'm going to first of all highlight click here under link i'm just going to paste that in okay again so if we just try this out okay so if i just click on click here it takes us to the official super mario website the only problem though is we've actually now lost our actual website and we have to go back to get to it um one of the nicer techniques is to click this button and have the new site open up in a new tab. So if I click open link a new tab, but we want this to happen without the user having to right click. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into split and I'm just going to find the HTML code, which is right here. Then here's the link we go to. And then just after that, uh, I'm going to type target. And then you can see it's already come up blank. Okay. And now open in Chrome. If we click on this link, it takes us there and look at that. The tab remains open a new tab. Okay. And that's everything I want to show you in this video. All right. So now we know how to insert images. We also know how to insert hyperlinks and edit the HTML code to get the hyperlink to open up in a new tab. We also know how to enhance fonts um, and we know how to use some HTML. So now from that, not only can we use a template, but we also know how to insert text and objects and we know how to use HTML code. Join me in the final video uh, to look at how else you can format a web page.